Hello! One of the many things that I learned from my granddad when I was a kid is that the proper name for this object is not a compass. This is a pair of compasses. Count them. One, two. A pair of compasses. Uh, and one of the things you can do with this, of course, other than draw circles, uh, is you can construct different things. And I thought I would share with you a nice little method that I've found for constructing an egg shape. Uh, this may be something you find yourself wanting to draw. It is you know, a fun thing to do. Uh, so I thought I would share with you this nice little method I've found. And here is a picture of an egg that I drew earlier today. Uh, you can see pretty much, pretty much egg shaped. Pretty, pretty good correspondence there. By, yeah, there we go, perfect. Uh, so this is entirely constructed using parts of circles and I thought I would show you how it's done. So the first thing I need to do is to draw a straight line down the middle of the page and I can just do that like this however I want to. I can draw my straight line in here. The next thing I'm going to need is a horizontal line which is at right angles to my vertical line. Uh, so in order to do this I can use my trusty pair of compasses. There is a way of doing this. Uh, so I put my compass point on the line somewhere, set the uh, width of the compass to something, whatever, uh, and I make a little mark on either side of the line. I then move the point of my compass without changing the width of the compass, I move it further down uh, and draw another pair of arcs which cross those first pair and they will be uh, on a line which is at right angles to the vertical. So I can draw that line in now, as long as I line passes through those two points that is perfect. So now I've got this nice right angle here. Uh, my next job is to decide how wide I would like my egg to be, what's the, the kind of the width of the base of the egg. Um, and I'm going to go for about five centimetres, so I'll set my compass to about five centimetres there, that'll do. And I'm now going to use that to draw in a circle for the bottom bit of the egg. And this is going to be centred at the point where those two lines cross. It's also going to be uh, half a circle, so it's going to go from the horizontal line back to the horizontal line again, like that. And that is uh, the bottom bit of my egg done. The next thing I need to do is decide how tall I want my egg to be. So I'm essentially going to pick a point somewhere on this line, uh, maybe let's say six centimetres up from my crossing point, and I'll put that mark there at six centimetres, and I now just need to construct a line from the edge of the half circle that I've already drawn up to that point and go through and go past it, and another line on this side from the other edge through that point up past it and off into the distance. And now that gives me the kind of construction for my egg shape. I now need to set my compasses to twice the distance they were for the bottom half of the egg because I need to do something, a circle centered at one of these side points here, which is the same radius as the, the width of the egg. And you might need to take this into account when you decide what width your egg is, because if there is a kind of maximum amount that your compasses can open, you will find that uh, that is gonna, gonna limit you at this stage. So I'm gonna go with 10 centimeters because my original uh, egg was five centimeters radius. So 10 centimeters is about that. I can do it with the ruler or I can just do it on the diagram here. If I put my point of my compass at this side of the circle, I just need it to be that whole width there. And I can now construct these two arcs. So I've got an arc here and it needs to go up as far as that diagonal line. Uh, another arc on the other side here. And that will now give me uh, the two sides of my egg. There is one final arc to draw in, uh, which is this top little bit here. And the width of uh, the radius of this circle needs to be the distance from the crossing point of the two diagonals to where that edge of the circle meets there. And it is just a little quarter of a circle there between those two diagonals. Maybe not exactly a quarter of a circle, but whatever it is uh, in between those two diagonals. And that will give us all of the arcs that make up our egg. So now we just need to um, ink in, I guess, draw a line along the bits of the arc that we want. And if you draw a nice smooth line all the way along that, you will find that you have a beautiful egg shape. Well, I hope that's useful to you. I hope you have a bit of fun doing this if you have a go. I hope you remember to say pair of compasses and not compass. And I wish you all a happy egging. <laughs>